Hi there, I've got an invitation for you. I am hosting a fall farmhouse DIY challenge with Carol from My Blessed Nest. The date will be August 18th at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Here are the rules. You gotta create a farmhouse themed DIY. It can be any type of DIY, trash to treasure, a thrift store flip, from the dollar store, whatever you want to do, wherever you're getting it from, there's no limit to this. Make sure to mention both of us in the video, our channel names, and link our channels in the description box. Upload your videos at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on August 18th, 2020. The playlist link will be available in our videos and our community at 9 a.m. on August 18th. The very last thing you need to know is that we want you to have fun. Carol and I look forward to seeing all of your great fall farmhouse DIYs. Let us know if you're going to be joining in. See you soon. Hi everyone, Sandra here from the Schwoven's Nest. It's been a long time since I've actually been on a video. So I thought it was time to share with you some of the things that I've picked up in my last thrift haul. Now, so the last time I went out to a couple of thrift stores, I found some really neat wood pieces that'll be perfect to convert into farmhouse decor. So I'll start with some of those items and then I have some other items to share with you as well. The first thing I'm gonna share with you are these canning lids. Now these are canning lids from Crown Mason Jars. And on the inside of the crown mason jars in this area, normally we would see like a metal piece, but for them, they're glass. Now these were, I think they were $2 for a pack of 10. I got a whole bunch of them. I just think they're rustic. They look really cool. And I'm thinking towards Christmas that these might turn into maybe some ornaments or maybe I'll add them to a wreath or some type of display. So stay tuned for that. I think it's gonna be fun. This next piece is just a simple tray. It's uh, got some clean lines to it, some nice rounded edges. I thought that was kind of neat. Um, it's not anything fancy, but I think it would look really cool, maybe painted and distressed with some, maybe some ball riser feet or something like that. It would be a really nice tray. So, I am always on the lookout for things that I can make into signs. And I thought this was really nice. Now, I don't like this and I'm sure, oh yeah, it's been hand painted. <laughs> so sorry to whomever hand painted this, but it will be disappearing. But I just thought this would be really nice. It's sturdy in the back and um, I believe it was probably for one of those uh, calendars or something. But anyhow, it's really nice and, and oh gosh, on the back it says handmade by Paul and Mary. Oh, sorry, Paul and Mary, I'm going to be changing this up. But anyhow, this was uh, $4.99, a little pricey, but you know what? I really like the wood on it. It's in really good shape. So you'll see me do something with this, probably a sign towards fall and Christmas. And the other tray I picked up for $2.99. So another thing that I tend to grab a lot are these wooden wine boxes. So these are some wine boxes. Um, they usually come this way. Now this one's got a little bit of damage to it. The back, the bottom I should say, is kind of coming out, but they've always got this nice little rope handle on it. I thought it would be really cute to put this on a table, um, put some greenery in it, maybe for uh, pumpkin season, which is coming up, or apple season, and do some kind of, it's got such a nice um, space here that I can put some nice writing on it and you never know I might be able to sell this and uh, take someone else will take it to their home I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep these handles it's just one handle I'd have to do the handle on the other side as well but uh, we'll see where that takes me this was $2.99 not bad for a nice little box these are some spindles and I thought these would be awesome for some tiered trays, some um, framing maybe, or I don't know. I just thought these were really cool. I thought too, if I cut them here, they would make some really neat uh, riser legs, or maybe if I cut it here, oh, sorry, if I cut it here, it might uh, be a nice little uh, bottom for a tray or a little footstool or something. So I'm not quite sure what these are going to turn into. They were $4.99 for the set of three, but I just thought the lines of them and all the carving were really nice. 
This next piece is perfect for a uh, collab that I'm doing tomorrow. I'm going to incorporate a getting ready for fall collab, which is tomorrow. And um, this was $4 and it's a really sturdy crate, has a really nice handle on it, but look at the cutouts. They're little apples and I just, fell in love with this when I found it and I thought this would be a perfect fall decor item. It was, oh, someone else has also, John Nelson made it. He carved his name at the bottom. It was $4. Again, a touch pricey, but it's really nice solid wood. And again, these apples just stole my heart. So I had to grab it. I am always on the lookout for big wood items too. I didn't find any furniture this time that I could flip, but I did find another one of these bins. Now, I don't know what these bins would normally have been used for. I think maybe a potato bin or an onion bin. I'm not sure. This one's really super heavy. It was $3.99. Imagine. So this is $3.99 and a little box like this was $4.99. I don't know who's pricing all, or $4. I don't know who's pricing all of this stuff, but this would have been, for me, way more expensive than the other one. Um, it has some really nice lines to it. There's a little gap there, and then there's like a, just a little ridge. Oh, not on this side. Ha, there's a little ridge on this side, just where you can see where the two boards meet up. Of course, these folk art hearts are going to leave. I'll probably just cut this right off and uh, maybe put some handles in it, put some nice design on it, but definitely it will turn into a farmhouse decor piece. Probably white, distressed a little bit with some of that wood showing through. The other thing that I'm always on the lookout for, um, because they're really great pieces and they sell really well, I do sell a lot of my things that I create and I just do that on Facebook Marketplace. So it is a local selling platform. Uh, unfortunately, I don't do any shipping right now, but this is a wood canister set. Now this is the large one and you can tell it's got a nice lid on it. You can tell it's a canister because it has the plastic insert, right? Well, I won't be using that, but I'll definitely be using this box as something. I'm not sure. It might just stay as a canister set and I might just put it together like that. Let's see if I can get that lid on properly. There we go. There's the lid on properly. It's got a nice little knob at the top. This was, ah, it was free. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? So there's that one and then there's the smaller one. So they were a set of four. So two bottoms, two lids, $6. Now, come on, you can't even like, I just don't get it. Wood pieces are just so classic, especially when they're solid wood like this kind of stuff. Got that beautiful engraving on it. So I'm really excited to be able to do something with both of these. So for something a little different, um, I have a couple of pieces that I pulled out of the old garage at our cottage. Things that have been just hanging around waiting to be either get gotten rid of or for me to do something with. So I got this little electrical spool. It is metal, but I thought, you know what? I can do something with this. I'm not 100% sure. If you guys have some ideas of something that I could do with this guy. I was thinking maybe a tier, nice big tiered tray for outdoors. Um, it could be just a little pedestal stand. It could be maybe a little side, not a side table, but a table on top of a table. So if you have some ideas of what you think I could do with this spool, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your ideas because I'm a little stuck on this one. The other thing that I found that I just absolutely adore is this wood crate like this is so old and so sturdy and it was made who knows how long ago um some of it's starting to crack a little bit where the the nails are into it but look at that neat little handle you can tell somebody probably carved this out or cut this out handmade it has some divided spaces in here it probably was just maybe somebody's little carrying thing, a toolbox, who knows what it would have been for, but I just adore it. And I'm gonna be doing something fall related with this. And uh, you'll see that coming up on my channel soon. 
So I've got three more pieces to share with you and they are part of my nautical collection of glass. I grabbed this nice green blue glass. I just love the look of this stuff. And um, my family room I'm redoing into a nautical decor kind of farmhouse coastal. This was $2 and I just thought it's perfect. I just, I just loved it. It could be plain like this. I can fill it with pebbles or jars or jars, candle, anything like that. And it would look great. This other one I thought too was just adorable. It's still got the brand new cork in it. So you can tell that nobody's ever used this. It was $1.99. Oh, this one was $2 if I didn't say that before. So this one was $1.99 and I just love the shape of it. I think it's really sweet. And that's got a little bit of a lighter blue tinge to it. And then this one is my favorite haul for this time. Check this little guy out. He's got some little fake handles. He looks almost like a crock. And again, brand new cork on the top. These things have never been used. So people either are just getting them as gifts or they're purchasing them thinking that they're going to use them. This one was $2.99. I love it. It's going to look so cute on display on my fireplace mantle once I get that all fixed up and, and done up. <laughs> so I'm re renovating that as well. That's it for my haul today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be making these items over into farmhouse decor. So if you like that kind of content, stick around a while. Thanks so much for watching to the end and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.